hello how are you doing so yesterday on my stories i posted about the diversity visa program popularly known as the green card lottery and a lot of people especially from my facebook uh, were asking questions like um what's this about how to go about it how much does it cost how long does it take uh what are the requirements and so today i want to answer all those questions so a diversity visa program is a lottery that is administered by the Department of the United States. They give immigrant visas to people uh, in countries that are eligible. I mean, countries that have low number of immigrants to the United States. And I think in Africa, the only countries that the only country that is not eligible is nigeria but if you are in eligible country and you are married to a nigerian person then they are automatic if you are a nigerian citizen married um, to a citizen that is in an eligible country like tanzania kenya uganda malawi and any other african country or any other country in the world then you automatically inherit their right of citizenship in that uh, eligible country so how to go about it first of all uh, this application is totally free and you can do it from your phone but if you have a laptop the better then um, the only requirement is a, a high school diploma that is KCSC certificate so if you have that you are good to go you can apply for yourself and another thing that you need is a USA standard passport photo not the kawaida passports zenye tunapigwa hapana there is a standard passport that has its own dimensions and that's what you will need so the usa passport photo has its own uh, specific dimensions like 600 by 600 um, pixels and two by two inches size of a photo so make sure when you go to the studio to take that photo they send it to your email so that it does not tamper with the quality of the photo because if you send it uh, i think through whatsapp or other means sometimes it can tamper with the quality and if you upload a, a photo that does not meet the requirements then you are automatically disqualified Again, make sure that everything that you fill in is correct. Like, do not say you are married and you do not have a marriage certificate that is recognized by your government. Okay? That is something that a lot of people fail to understand. Another thing is, um, another thing before I forget, um, once you have submitted your entry, you will get a confirmation number that will pop on your screen. That's the confirmation number that you will need to log in again next year, May. That's when the results are out to check whether you have won or not. So make sure you protect it. Make sure you put it somewhere very, very safe until next year. Another thing is that it is totally free. If you go to the cyber, do not pay uh, some crazy amounts of money. You only pay for the service in the cyber but not for the green card because the green card lottery is completely free and make sure if you are going to the cyber make sure they give you your confirmation number go with it home and put it somewhere safe